We've been working on humanoids for more than a decade at Boston Dynamics, always keeping a close watch on when the missing pieces of technology would fall into place to make it truly commercially viable. The rapid advancements in AI over the past few years are the piece that we needed, and that moment is finally here. Now it's time to officially take Atlas out of the lab. So for the first time ever in public, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Atlas to the stage. So as you can see, Atlas really does stand up the way that we show in our videos online. And we get tons of questions about this. Zach, while we have everyone here, do you want to provide a little bit of insight into how we made that decision? I mean, it's pretty simple. Atlas doesn't have to move like a person does, and we're looking for the most stable, efficient way to get up, and it turns out this is it. The other question we get all the time is how Atlas is moving. How is Atlas moving today? So, in normal operation, Atlas is fully autonomous on a job site, but today, Sarvesh, one of our FAEs, is piloting Atlas on the stage, giving it really simple instructions like forwards and backwards just to keep things simple. This is Atlas's first time in public, and as you can see, its walk is pretty natural and pretty smooth. We've partnered with our sister organization, the Robotics and AI Institute, to push the limits on natural walking just for this performance and I think we've done something really special. We've also been at this robotics thing for a while, and we've learned that there's more to it than just copying nature. We can pick the best parts of what nature has to offer and do better in others. So as you can see, Atlas here has joints that can move 360 degrees. This lets Atlas move even more efficiently than humans, particularly in manufacturing environments where every second counts. We've also designed Atlas's head and face very purposefully. We want folks working with Atlas to know that Atlas is a helpful robot, not a person. Seeing Atlas live in action for the first time is wildly exciting. But seeing it perform real industrial work is even more compelling. We recently took this robot down to the Hyundai Motor Group Metaplant America to have Atlas test in a real manufacturing facility where we performed autonomous uh, material handling tasks. We proved that humanoids could be viable in a real world application. And we collected data and learnings that we took back to Boston to make our product even better. The version of Atlas that you're seeing here is just a research prototype that we've been using for a couple years to understand the system. But we've been hard at work on making the actual product version of Atlas. I can confidently say that this product version of Atlas is the best and actually simplest robot that we have ever built. But rather than just talk about it, why don't we actually show you what it's going to look like? Now, obviously this is a static display robot. We just couldn't pry the actual production samples out of our engineers' hands at the lab this week. Um, so we're gonna be showing you videos of that robot in the coming weeks. This product generation of Atlas surpasses any other enterprise-grade humanoid. This robot has 56 degrees of freedom, mostly with fully rotational joints, and it has human-scale hands with tactile sensing in the fingers and palms for dexterous manipulation. Atlas's 360 degree cameras see in all directions, so it understands when people are approaching, which is part of our holistic safety concept. Atlas is also strong. It can lift up to 110 pounds and reach up to 7.5 feet in the air. Atlas is also water resistant. In real industrial environments, robots need to undergo washdowns, and it can operate at its full capabilities, including strength between minus four and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be easy to teach Atlas new tasks. Most can be trained in less than a day. Atlas can perform these tasks at a reliable, consistent pace for about four hours using its dual swappable batteries. And when they run low, 
Atlas navigates back to its charging station and swaps its own batteries, getting right back to work. Finally, Atlas robots share intelligence. Through our Orbit platform, once one Atlas learns a skill, it can be shared with any other Atlas. These industry-leading specs, along with our industry-leading foundation models, allow Atlas to take on challenging tasks. Tasks that Atlas will do autonomously, on its own, from day one. Assisting people and prioritizing a collaborative, human-centric approach. And as we continue to build out our general purpose technology, our customers will be able to use our Orbit software to teach Atlas new and specialized skills. Do you want to wrap us up by talking about our production and deployment plan? Of course. So we've already started production of this new robot at our Boston headquarters, and our entire 2026 supply has already been allocated to Hyundai Motor Group and our new AI partner you'll hear about in a few minutes. We'll add more new customers in 2027. But for now, we're planning additional pilots at Hyundai Motor Group and building a facility that we call the Hyundai Robotics Meta Plant Application Center. This center is the cornerstone of our plan to build the most complete data set in the world to train humanoid skills in manufacturing, creating an engine for deploying tens of thousands of Atlas robots across Hyundai Motor Group facilities worldwide. It's a data factory. Hyundai Motor Group isn't just deploying the Atlas robots either. They are going to build them. Together, we are building a new robotics factory capable of producing 30,000 Atlas robots a year. This is what's truly required to deliver the full promise of humanoids across the industrial, commercial, and home markets. We are so excited to bring Atlas into the world.